Well, last in the division again. So back down here with you all. Though I gotta say, the defense played pretty well. We did a nice job containing Lamar Jackson. And what did I miss? Don't ask me, I was on a bye. I took a nap. A cat nap. Hello? Greetings! I'm Elijah. And I am Lenny. What is happening? I don't know, but I'm invested. You're invested? They've said two sentences to each other. Not much else to be invested in this season. Fair. Wait, does he pay rent? I see you're a fan of the Texans. Yes. And you, the Chiefs. Indeed. We never did recover from that divisional game. My sincerest apologies. It was nothing personal. But that was a long time ago, and time is the wisest counselor of all. Let every man be master of his time. Ah, Shakespeare. Classic. You know it. Of course. While I tend to dwell a little bit more on the spiritual and philosophical side of things, it is important that one is well-read. Tell me something, Elijah. Do you have interest in... a monologue? Hmm. That does interest me. I have been known to do a sermon from time to time, though, if I'm being honest, I haven't done one in a while since the congregation has been empty. But there is no need for a massive audience to speak one's heart. I have been traveling with a friend and just practicing with him. He's a pirate, you'll love him. Does he pay rent? He's a pirate, Greg. Pirates don't pay rent. God help me. You must let go of your ambition to speak to crowds of people. Speak truly, and the crowds will come. But you must speak it. So you're saying that I should give my sermons regardless of what happens? Of course, if you want any help writing it, not that you need it. I can assist you, perhaps. Hmm. Thank you, Lenny. I have been having doubts as of late of my purpose. Perhaps I should just get back to doing sermons. They do say, knowing yourself is the beginning of all wisdom. For to be wise and love exceeds man's might. <clears throat> they say that the best of man pays thy rent. Greg, I don't think that's a real quote. I know! Oh, hey there, fart. Ah, oh, finally won another one, huh? That's right. Get me some gumbo. That's cute. You're in third place and you still think you're a winner. You know, I was just thinking about how we don't see each other as often. Let's keep it that way. That's fine by me. Hey, fellas. Guess it's like a little winner's club in here, huh? Okay, what you making? Nothing for you. All right. Hey, I don't think we've met. Good. Jeez, what's his problem, am I right? I know you can hear me. Why does no one care what I have to say? Honestly, you may be the most forgettable person I've ever met. And I've met a guy named Eddie before. I'm Eddie. Proving my point. You know, at some point, I'm owed some respect. Whatever you say, Freddy. It's Eddie, you swamp-dwelling Neanderthal. I'm, I'm gonna go. No. Stay. Really? No, get out of here before I bury you in the bayou.
Oh, sorry. Didn't know anyone was in here. It's fine. Was just gonna clean the litter box. It's already done. Oh, I was up here anyway, so I appreciate it. Gave him fresh water, too, since I was here. Thanks. Don't mention it. Well. Hey, I, I heard you fell. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. A little too much apple juice, I guess. Heard the same about Todd Downing. Mm. I really should get back to it. Quite the wall you got there. Thanks. Who's Carl? Sorry, didn't mean to pry. Yeah, it's PI stuff. Highly classified. I see. Raymond, why are you taking care of the cats? I told you, I was here. Yeah, but you don't like them. You spent all that time trying to find them and I just don't understand. Because they needed to be taken care of. Someone to look after them, to watch over them and make sure they're all right. Okay, yeah, but that's my job. Well, it shouldn't just be your responsibility. I know about them now, so I'm here. I should be able to take care of them too. Him? Them. If I had known about them earlier, I would have helped. I didn't even know. I mean, you said you were going to call animal control on them. I didn't mean that. I would have never done that. Okay. Sorry I didn't tell you sooner. You should be. Raymond, I didn't know how you were going to react. You can't really be upset with me for protecting them and keeping them safe. Now I've missed out on all that time. I don't even know what he likes now. I bought toys. Do you think he'll like it? Raymond. I got him a bike. Why would you give me a bike? I didn't have a chance to teach him how to ride a real one. So, I figured this was the next best thing. Don't like it, right? Yeah. I'm sure he will. I just... I just want him to know me. Do I know you or something? You have time now. I want him to know that I didn't leave him. He has to know that. I have to find him. You will. I'm sure you will. Captain? Sib. It's great to see you, man. It's been a long time. How you been? Why you calling me, Sib? We hung out like two times years ago. Well, I had this teensy-wincy little money problem and was wondering if you had a couple doubloons you could spare me. You called me because you wanted money? And to hang out with you, man. I mean, come on, lots changed. You moved, right? A lot has happened, Seb. Too much to retell. I hear that. Hey, have you met Brady? I'm well aware of Brady. Oh. Sorry, a little piece was hanging off Brady. Had to tuck that in. You're welcome to stay as long as you like, man. I mean, we're not really paying rent right now, and if we get evicted, Brady and I will just take off and move somewhere else again. The only reason I even stepped by is because I was already on the road. Right on, man. Living that nomadic lifestyle. No. I'm looking for someone. Aren't we all? Speaking of, I know there's somebody that Shelly would like to see. 
I really don't have time for this. Come on, man, they've missed each other. Look who it is, Shelly. It's Triton. Okay, that's enough. I need to get some air. Seems like there's love in the air. Isn't that right, Shelly? Goodbye. Ah, uh, old flame still burning bright, huh, Shelly? Sorry, Brady. What was going on with you back there? You looked love struck. 